Church is a place of sanctity, holiness. A place where men are refined and purified by God himself. The church is a place of quietness and meditation. A place set aside for worship and the sacrifice of the cross. The structure of the church, the altar of the church, the tabernacle, the ambo, the sitting areas for the ministers are on the pews are all designed to engage the mind to focus on God. Brothers and sisters, the church is the place for ministry where the needs of the people are met. Saturday prayer, for example, is a pastoral program in order to meet the needs of the parishioners here in Our Lady Star of the Sea. The spiritual program of, Our Lady, of those parishioners who come to Our Lady Star of the Sea. The church is a place where wonderful things are to be done in the house of God. Where there is a visible manifestation of God's power at way to bring hope to man, to bring restoration. That wherever the church is, men should always rejoice. For the word of God says in Psalm 122 verse 1, it says, I rejoice when they said to me, let us go to the house of God. In Isaiah chapter 2 verse 2 to 3, it puts it very clearly. It says, it shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised above the hills and all the nations shall flow to it. And many peoples shall come and say, come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. Why? That he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion, out of the house of God shall go forth the law. So in the house of God, there is the law of God. And then he says, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. It is also a place of sacrifice. So where the laws of God are communicated. It's also a place where the word of God is communicated. It's also a place where the saints are nourished. The church is a place where God is to be praised. Where you lift up holy hands in praising the name of the Lord. And you find out why, G, why, this, why Jesus rode triumphantly into what Jerusalem. The children also picked the words of praise, Hosanna to the son of David. Hosanna to the son of David. That tells you that while you are coming for Saturday prayers, you, or you are coming for mass, you should bring your children. Remember that as you are praising God, the devil is angry. The religionists of the day were angry because men were praising Jesus. And they were angry because Jesus has actually spoiled their business. No more show for them. They were angry because the children were praising God. Didn't the word of God say to you and I in Psalm 8 verse 2, on the lips of children and of babies, you have found praise, O Lord, to defeat your enemies, to bring your enemies to stand still. So it tells you that as you are praising God, your enemies are in standstill. They are unable to attack you because as you are praising God, he is fighting your battles. As you are praising God, he's changing your story. As you are praising God, he's lifting you up. As you are praising God, he's opening doors for you. As you are praising God, he's granting you blessings. As you are praising God, he's giving you life. As you are praising God, he's restoring you. May this be captured in our lives, in our mighty name of Jesus. So the house of God is a place of praise. So let nobody trouble me and say, why are you praising God? Why are you praising God? All oh, the music is loud. It is only the house of God that you can praise God. Should there be a pop house around here, you can see the blare from the speakers. You won't complain because it is carnality. But when the house of God is complaint, the house of God is a place where praises are rendered. You go to the word of God in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20 downwards, you find out that the Lord changed the battle. 
The strategy to win a war is praise. So he tells you that as you are in the house of God, more than the words that will come from the priest, more than the prayer intentions, more than the ministration, that even as the songs are released, you are clapping your hands prophetically. You are sending the word, oh God, in my family, as I'm clapping hands, Lord, change the story, change the narrative. Lord, I am betting to a new season. Do you know that while the woman was praising God here on a Saturday, God was actually fighting a battle in the office she returned on monday and only to find out that she was given a what an appointment letter she was about to be sacked she said she was dancing she was praising god and she was glorifying the name of the lord if somebody praises the name of the lord god will arise on your behalf god will change your story god will rewrite the narrative in the mighty name of jesus so you must praise god let no man trouble you while it is to dance, dance as David danced. Did Rachel not condemn David? What happened to her? The daughter of Saul, she became barren. So the foolishness of a man who actually attacks you for praising God, the Lord arises and silences the person. So as you are praising God, you are moving forward. As you are praising God, doors are opening. As you are praising God, God is lifting you up. As you are praising God, that sickness goes away. As you are praising God, your marriage is being restored. As you are praising God, your children are healed. Shout, stand up and shout the name, Jesus! As you praise God, every door close against you shall be opened in the name of Jesus! It is only the house of God that can you hear this sound. That the sound is praise the Lord. You're not a man. No. You're not a man. No. You're the God who opens doors. No man can shut. From the touch of your heart, praise him. No one like you, Jesus. No one like you. You're the God of everything. Lift up, no one like you. Lift up your voice and praise. No one like you. You're not a man. There's a prophetic word coming for somebody at this time. Somebody standing, gathering secrets about you in order to go and present it so that you'll be judged. As they go, they will miss their roads. As they go, their way will be closed. But you will come to light in the mighty name of Jesus. That every report from the realm of the spirit, every conclusion from the realm of the spirit is thereby cancelled in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. If you please say a big amen. No one like you, Jesus. No one like me. No one like you. No one like you. You 
you're going to sing this song prophetically you are sick place your hand there place your hand there as the song is going on declare lord i can't be praising you and this sickness is still in my life go ahead and pray this song is going on pray lord i can't be praising you and this sickness is there you are here looking for the fruit of the womb that is a word for you lord i can't be praising you and i'm still childless you are here you're looking for a life partner i can't be praising you and i still do not have what a life partner open your mouth and pray that whatever it is that is in your life god you can take it away open your mouth and pray as the song is going on you are singing and you are praying and you are declaring God, the power of God. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, I am here. I cannot be praising you and then be having this affliction. I can't be praising you and still remain childless. I can't be praising you and my children are stubborn. I can't be praising no you like and then be danger. Lord, as I praise, no as I like praise you. you, let the narrative change. Somebody pray. No pray, like child of God. Pray, 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 pray. Lord, change the story. Him. You are the mighty God. You are the God of awesome wonders. Lord, I can't be praising you. And this affliction is still in my life. I can't be praising you. And I still do not have good health. I can't be praising you. And I remain childless. I can't be praising you. Oh God, my Father. And there is this sickness in my home. I can't be praising you, oh God. Father, arise and heal. Arise, oh God, and come children. Arise, oh God, and bless. Arise, oh God, and open doors. Arise, oh God, and give them life partners. Arise, oh God, arise, arise. Arise, arise, arise and give them a testimony. Arise, oh God. You are not a man. As I praise you, change the narrative. As I praise you, change the narrative. Pray, child of God. I pray for you that as you have stretched forth your hands upon your womb or wherever there is illness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth you who is looking for the fruit of the womb receive the gift of children in the mighty name of Jesus according to the time of life by this time next year return with your babies in the mighty name of Jesus you are sick whatever condition receive healing in the mighty name of jesus receive healing in the mighty name of jesus in that condition receive healing in the mighty name of jesus you're looking for the life or life partner whatever has failed you whatever garment whatever thing sponsoring this kind of reproach in your life in the name of God the Father before Jesus I stand whom has sent me he has given us this grace this privilege of the priesthood I release you from that yoke I release you from that bondage I release you from that shame I release you from that stagnation receive your life partner in the mighty name of Jesus come to with your testimonies praising God and rejoicing in the mighty name of Jesus Say a big amen as you take your seat. Sit down, dear brothers and sisters. If you believe it will happen to you. If you believe it will happen. Very quickly. The church exists to teach men to pray. The church exists to teach men to pray. If you have a prayerless church... You have given the devil an opportunity to attack you in different ways. Bondage, sickness, death, and so many other things. But he that prays to the Lord wins every battle. Brothers and sisters, 
Prayer is part of the preceding ministry of all believers. Revelation chapter 5 verse 10 says, Revelation chapter 5 verse 10 says, and has thou ha and has made them a kingdom and priest to our God, and they shall reign on earth. So God has created you to reign on earth. And the only way you can exercise that reign is engaging in the ministry of prayers. Not just words, kind of words. Because there are powers that can silence you. There is a priesthood ministry of the church. And it is to offer the incense of prayer night and day. All believers are called to pray. Matthew chapter 21 verse 13 says, Jesus said, my house shall be called a house of what? Prayer. I want to hear you say it loud. My house shall be called what? A house of what? Prayer. It is a place where communion with God is not difficult. Now, why, why do you pray? We pray because it's a command. Luke chapter 18 verse 1 says, and all men should pray and not grow weary. Matthew chapter 5, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 says, pray without ceasing. That is be consistent in prayer. Now prayer is one of the major strategies for fellowship with the Father. If you truly want to have a fellowship with the Father, you must be a man or a woman of prayer. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 2 says, for the one who speaks in a tongue speaks not to men but to God. For no one understands him, but, the, but he utters mysteries in the spirit. So as you are praying, you are uttering mysteries in the spirit. There is only God, the spirit of the Lord, can, I can hear your prayers and then present you the Father in a language that is suitable to the Father. Number three, why you pray? Why you must pray? Because the prayer that you pray is a platform for growth and transformation. You evolve into a better version of yourself. Jude chapter 1 verse 20 says, But you, beloved, build yourselves up on your most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Spirit. As you pray, your spiritual senses are sharpened. And once your spiritual senses are sharpened, you can pick things in the realm of the Spirit. And then because you are spirit in, a, in an earthen vessel, you are able that your, the, 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 the place where there is the, meet, the meeting point between the spirit and then the will of man and then the soul of man is captured within the mind. And your mind begins to tell you, oh, there is something that is about to happen. Then if you have trained yourself spiritually, you are able to pick the signal. And then you can wake up one morning and you begin to pray and tell God the Father, change this particular thing. Then maybe the instance of what? The cloud of darkness or the shadow of death. Or if the, in your in your office you are going to be sat, you will pick the import from the realm of the spirit. And you will know that something is about to happen in your family or happen in your business. Then you can wake up one morning and then you begin to blast it to prayer and as you are praying you are withholding the hand of the enemy saying it shall not prevail in your life but once you are blind spiritually and you are deaf spiritually evil things can happen in your life and then you, you begin to lament and wail and shout and complain but when you have trained yourself spiritually you are able to pick the impulses and then before it manifests or find expression in the earth you stop it before it rains I pray for you as you pray. May every power of hell attacking your household or having the intention to attack your household, may they be withheld in the mighty name of Jesus. So when you pray, brothers and sisters, you are growing and then you are transforming to a better image. The next thing that prayer does for you is a platform for warfare and intercession. Acts of the Apostles chapter 12 verse 1 to 5 says... Precisely verse 5 says, Endless prayers were said for what Peter who was in prison. And when you continue to read, you will find out that the Lord delivered Peter through the ministry of an angel from that particular prison. So while you are praying, you are calling upon God the Father and he's releasing you from every shackles of evil. Every bondage, every power that is attacking you. The Bible says to you in James chapter 5 verse 13. Is any one of you suffering or afflicted? Let him do what? Pray. If a man is joyful and cheerful, let him sing praise to the Lord. When you stand in the gap for people, you are withholding the hands of the enemy. And you are releasing the hand of God. 
they just stand as what well, that sign to the world that can stand in the gap for millions to release them from the yokes of darkness. As you have been coming for Saturday prayer, many of you are evolving into a living image of what God wants you to be. You are changing. This is what this is what the church stands for. Should it should just imagine, should there be a time where there is no more prayer in the church or no more mass in the church? You will find many Catholics today last. The COVID-19 is a clear example that people had a hunger to return to the church. Why? To pray, to offer their worship to God. That every time you pray, you are actually interceding for the saints. And every time you pray, you are actually releasing the hand of God to the, for the saints. The place of prayer is a place where you learn to keep your faith alive. When you pray, your faith can be sharpened. When you pray, your faith comes alive. It sharpens your conviction to believe that God is able to do exceedingly above all that you have this desired. When you pray, is there also a platform to make requests and petitions to God? When you pray, it's also a platform where you offer your thanksgiving and supplications to God. The Bible tells you and I, in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, it says, have no anxiety about anything at all, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Verse 7 says, when you have done this, it says, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The devil always wants to make you uncomfortable, trouble you. But when you pray, every day you pray, you come to peace. When you have an urge to pray, brothers and sisters, pray. Because when you respond to that impulse, what is happening? You are withholding whatever thing that is not about to happen, that's not supposed to happen in your life. And you begin to release the hand of God in your household. When you pray, your spiritual senses are sharpened. When you pray, your conviction is sharpened. When you pray, your faith comes alive. When you pray, you become a, you grow into a sign and a wonder. When you pray, you are strengthened. In one minute, I want you to rise now and you open your mouth and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, purify my motive. Purify me, O God, that I may go back to the place of prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Purify me, O God, and take me back to the place of prayer that I may value prayer at all costs. I will always pray and desire the secret place. Somebody's praying. Pray, child of God. Pray. Lord, give me the grace to always be in your presence. The grace to always pray. Never to be tired of praying. Never to be tired of praying. I desire your face, O God. I seek your face that I will never be satisfied until your presence comes into my life. Lord, until your power shows up in my life. I pray my faith is increased. My life is changed. I am transformed into a living image of the Lord. I will never be tired of praying. As I pray, peace is restored to my life. As I pray, joy is back to my life. As I pray, every obstacle is out of my life. As I pray, Lord, you are increasing me. As I pray, I am strengthened. As I pray, oh God, my life becomes into a, moves into a perfect way that you have programmed it to be. Lord, as I pray, joy is coming back to me. As I pray, peace is restored. Someone is praying. Pray, child of God. Pray. Pray and ask God in his mercy to give you the grace to remain prayerful. Never to be tired of prayer. Pray, pray, pray in the spirit. Tell the Lord, give me the grace to remain prayerful, the grace to remain focused, never to be tired of praying. Revive my hunger for the place of prayer. Pray, child of God. Revive my prayer life. Revive my prayer life. Even if you have no problem with your prayer life, give me strength to remain strong in the place of prayer. Oh God, my Father, give me the strength to remain strong in prayer. I remain strong in prayer. I contend for grace. I contend for light. I contend for revelation. I contend for understanding. To always remain in your presence. Pray. Somebody's praying. Pray. Jesus. Jesus, 
those who pray every power that seeks to bring you into retrogression the lord takes them away from your life in the mighty name of jesus every power that has been sent in order to limit you may the lord separate you from it totally in the mighty name of jesus as you pray may your own kind of spiritual interaction be sharpened may you be able to receive impulses of the spirit may your life be transformed into a sign and a wonder in the mighty name of jesus lift up your voice and begin to pray for our lady star of the sea tell the lord that every purpose everything that you have willed for our lady star of the sea it shall put into reality open your mouth and pray lord every program everything every good thing that you have for our lady star of the sea it shall put into reality follow in online pray for your own parish pray pray for your family as we are praying here in our lady star of the sea we are preparing ourselves for our parish feast week we are for this day we are saying god Every good thing that you have kept for our ladies to have the sea, release it. Holy Spirit, we believe. We believe. Do something mighty in our life. Let the power of hell never prevail. Let it never prevail. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, child of God. Pray. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every good thing that the Lord has for our Lady Star of the Sea, the powers of hell will not stop it in the mighty name of Jesus. Now you will pray for Saturday prayers. Pray that this platform, this spiritual platform, we grow to become what God has for it. Open your mouth and begin to bless God for Saturday prayers. Begin to decree words of grace, words of power. Pray. Open your mouth and pray. So, say, God, my Father, as this program has started in our parish, nothing shall scatter it. Nothing shall stop it, O oh God. Give your priest strength to call him to minister to us. Give him wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to minister the help of the Spirit that comes from you, O oh God. Let him rest upon him. Give him your packing, O oh God. Lord, may I let be transformed. Every prayer said here, let him receive divine attention. Somebody's praying. Pray, child of God. For I believe God can do something new. God can do something new. In our lady's power of the sea. Through this platform, that everyone who comes here, seeking the face of God, shall receive the torch of the Lord. Open your mouth and pray. So may Lord, I pray for such a prayers. Pray that this particular program shall be blessed the nations, shall be a blessing to many, shall be a blessing to this environment, shall be a blessing to you who comes here. Pray, child of God. Open your mouth and pray. Give your priest strength, O God. Pray. Pray. Pray that the mighty hand of God will always move to bring healing and deliverance. Pray. Bring hope to the children of God. Pray. Jesus. Are you praying for, for such the prayers? Are you praying? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. I can hear you. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let your mighty hand, O oh God, be upon this program that it may be a blessing to the nation, that it may be a blessing to the world. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God, my Father, strengthen your priest, O oh God, Fill it with a new unction always. Fill it with a new fire always. That as it stands to minister on, on behalf, let there be the revelation and the manifestation of your power at work in his life that it may change the stories of many. Open your mouth and pray. Bless God for Saturday prayers. It is, it is here to change the story. It is here to change the narrative. Oh God, my Father, let your mighty hand be at work to release those who are in bondage, to bring freedom to those who are in captive. Let there be the release of the hand of God to bring restoration, to bring life. That every prayer said here shall be heard and answered. Bless God that every resources we need, every resources we need in terms of human capacity, in terms of men with what gifted hands, destiny help us that we push this program to the next level. Almighty Father, let them manifest in our destiny. Open your mouth and pray. Pray 
pray for Saturday prayers. Open your mouths and pray. Lord, bless this program. Bless everyone who comes here for prayers. Lord, may they never go back empty-handed. As they come, they shall be satisfied. As they come, they shall be filled. As they come, they shall be watered. As they come, they shall be like the tree that is planted by the water side that never goes dry. As they come, they shall know that you are their shepherd and they shall not want. As they come, they shall know that he who dwells in the secret place of the most high and abides under the shadow of the Almighty shall say of the Lord, you are my refuge, you are my God, in you I trust. Pray that the powers of hell will never destroy the work of God. The agents of darkness will never stop this program. Open your mouth and pray. Everyone on assignment to destroy this program, Lord, may you silence them. Open your mouth and pray. Pray that good things will manifest on this program. Hell to come. Healing will come. Deliverance will come. Joy will happen. Peace will be restored. Deliverance. God will take away affliction. Prayers will be heard. Prayers will be answered. People will move and grow to be transformed to a living image of what God has prepared for them. Pray. Lord, give this ministry the wings of fly. Holy Ghost, be at work to bless us, to bless the work of our hands. Everything that we need to move this program to the next level. Let it come, oh God. Let it be a sign to the world, to bless the world, to bless your sons and daughters. Scatter over the face of the earth. Pray, pray, child of God. Pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray for those who are falling online that they may also be a blessing to others. As they are watching this program, the power of God will be at work in their life. That everything that they desire from God, the Lord will grant it unto them. Go ahead and pray for them. Go ahead and pray, child of God. Bless them. Bless them wherever they are. Give them your peace. Give them your joy. Open doors for them. Establish them by your word. Establish them according to your promise that their lives will become a beauty and a wonder. All the days of our lives in Jesus name we have prayed now it is time for me to make a declaration upon you as one sent to you here are ladies of the sea before who has sent me I pray may Jesus arise and bless you every struggle that you are having at this time may the Lord give you victory over it in the mighty name of Jesus whether it's spiritual, whether it's marital, whether it's financial, whether it is moral, may the Lord give you victory. May there be liberty in the mighty name of Jesus. Every valley in your life, in your life while rain is falling, it's not falling in your own home. You, you are hearing of others people other people being blessed but in you you are not experiencing it. I pray let the rain begin to fall in your homes in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the rain begin to fall in the name of Jesus. Let the rain begin to fall in the mighty name of Jesus. Step into your new season and begin to testify to the goodness of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Afflictions will not silence you. Sudden death will never be your lot and your portion. Evil may be roaming about the face of the earth. But there's what we call divine preservation. May you and your house will be preserved. May you and your house will be preserved. May you and your house will be preserved from the powers of hell in the mighty name of Jesus. Everywhere you go, our lady star of the sea, and those following online, may you be a light to the world. I didn't hear your amen. May your children be blessed. May the work of your hands be blessed. May your families be blessed. May your endeavors be blessed. May your possessions be blessed. May your reputation be blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will have reasons to testify. You will have reasons to testify. Your hands will never be empty. This month of September, declare, say in the name of Jesus. My hands will not be empty. My hands will be full forever and ever if you please say seven amen number one number two number three number four number five number six number seven shout jesus do something for the lord come forward for your thanksgiving
seen this well with you. a few announcements. Next weekend will be the last Saturday. So it's our testimony prayer day. So please if you've not registered your testimony please go to the parish office, register them. We'll be having just three minutes each for each person. Please. So before you come, please try and summarize your testimony so I won't keep everybody in church for long. Amen. Amen. This evening at the foundation class the topic will be the whole armor of God and authority of a believer, as written in Ephesians 6, 10 to 18. So people have asked me, is it just for charismatic members? The answer is no. Nobody is forcing anybody to be a charismatic member. All we want to do is that each Catholic have a good foundation and understand the faith that we profess. Like today, we're talking about the authority of a believer. 
when the Bible says, for these signs shall follow them, it did not have a reservation. It did not say shall follow Joseph or Sister Uche or Sister Adobe. It said for all believers. So it means that if these signs are not following you, you are not working enough yet. Because to the grace you dispose yourself to is the grace you receive. Everybody is equal in the presence of God. But if you desire him, you, you, you get him. Amen. So also this, this today, this evening by 5 p.m. during the foundation class, we'll be studying Acts 18, 19, and 20, which is every week we'll have a Bible passage that we'll read and we'll come and share. So today, in case you are coming, just try and read Acts 18, 19, and 20 because we'll be sharing it. The charismatic renewal of this parish will very soon be celebrating one year. <laughs> but when, uh, when Father celebrated one year, I said, show sure, just now. <laughs> and to God be the glory, very soon we'll be celebrating one year in a grand style. Just watch out for that. So I, I hope to see you all 5 p.m. today. Too much chopping I said, too much chopping C. This time. Glory to Jesus. Oh, not to him, my Papa. One lady, one church. We have praised him. This is called Koinonia, fellowship in his house. We have said he's able. He's the ocean divider. He's the fourth man in the battle. He's the fourth man in the fire. He's the lily of the shadow of, uh, of the, uh, he's the lily of the valley. He's the uh, rose of Sharon. His word. He's the Holy One of Israel. He's the Mighty One in battle. His word. So many. Please, can we have more? We have so many praises. We have so many. To you, he's something to you, Abby. He's my provider. He's the lifter up of my head. He's the one that heals. He's the one that gives. He's the one that touches. It doesn't matter where you are. He can touch you. All he says is what? Open your heart. It is your faith that will make you whole. When he says, let me just touch the hem of his garment, did Jesus know about it? Initially, he didn't, but you know he knows everything. But it was her faith that made her whole. When he said, oh, he said, the, the child you're asking him to come and um, to raise, he's already dead. He was sick, but he's already, don't, don't bother the father. What did he say? Just stay with me. And he did. Did he go back and start shouting? No. What happened? That child was brought back to life. But you know in all of this, there's one that has the heart of Jesus. Who is he? Mary. He has the heart of Jesus. Remember at the wedding of Cana, what did she say? She didn't bother. She didn't bother. What did she say? He said, son, they have no wine. So today you can say, son, they have no peace. They have no joy. They have nothing. They have no healing in their hands. That's why we want to pray the novena to our lady star of the sea. We started. Today was our second day. It's a very short prayer. Ten minutes. I monitored it the first day. It was 12 minutes. Today it was 10. If you were able to join us this morning, praise, to, praise the Lord. But if you are not able to join us, say the prayer at your own instant. In your private, it's a very short one. Can I have the rosary? That is it. Just 15. The first says our Father. The second is Hail Mary. The third is what? Glory be to God. And then the next one is just the prayer to our lady. Very short. Ten minutes wherever you are. Please let us join in this novena to our, our lady service. So she can tell them, son. They need you. Son, they need healing. They need child. They need children. They need spouses. She can do it. When I shared this, uh, the, I told a friend that we are going to start a rosary uh, novena to Our Lady of the Sea. She's not even Catholic. She was like, hey, you people will have many testimonies. Oh, I don't know how that came, but it just, it just gave me goose pimple. And we are here. This has been opened up to us. Some of us said we are not online, so we don't get the messages. So we are telling you now, except for Saturdays. Saturdays we start at 6.30 a.m. 
But from Monday to Friday, is going to be 6 p.m. in the evening. We start with the normal rosary, and then within the church, within the mass, immediately after the post-communion prayer, we say uh, novena to our blessed mother, our lady, star of the sea. All of this is in preparation for our feast day. Feast day is Wednesday, the 27th. But we are going to have our love feast on the 1st of October. So please let us join. If rosaries are still on sale, buy one. Buy for every member of your family, your friends. You're, you're looking for... Sandra, today is your birthday. I'll buy you one. <laughs> oh, yesterday was her birthday. Okay. So I'll buy you one as a birthday gift. But that is it. That's how it starts. Give it to someone. Show them the prayer. Let us go to our mother. He is the word. He's the comfort. He's, she's called the comfort of the troubled. We lived in trouble. We live in troubled times. So let's come to our mother, who is also the uh, wayfarer. He is, she is one. She's the one that saves the shipwrecked. She's the one that saves the ones that who is up. He's the one that saves the travelers. He takes us everywhere. Let us go with our mother. So, I, Sunday, Sunday, thank you, mom. So on Sunday, that's an exception. On Sunday, we start at 6.30 a.m. and do our novena. And then during the 11 o'clock mass, we say the novena immediately after the post-communion prayer. So Saturday and Sunday, that's all. But for Monday to Friday, 6 p.m., am I going to see you there? She's waiting. She wants to bless us. She wants to tell the son about us. Glory to Jesus. Please put your hands together for the online community. All our prayers. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. All our prayers through the intercession of our blessed mother. May we obtain blessings and healings through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among you men and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among you men, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among you men, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Our Lady Star of the Sea, we have presented this course before you. Help obtain for us mighty blessings and may our hearts rejoice now and forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. So next week is Thanksgiving. You know, they won't be preaching, just a few charge. We receive the testimony, a brief charge, then we continue up on Saturday with the second, the third part, the third part of this series on what the Great Commission. May the Lord bless us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Size. 